This is part two of our text file handling video series where we're looking about how we can interact with text files from Delphi. And in this video, part two, we're going to be looking at how do we put information from Delphi into a text file. In other words, how do we write to a text file? Now, if you watched our previous video, you have seen the recipe to read from a text file. You'll notice there's a few similarities between what we do when we read compared to when we write, but there are things that are slightly different. So let's start with the first step. Whenever we want to put information from Delphi into a text file, we need a couple of variables or you'll need maybe a, a few strings there, but the most important one is you'll need your text file variable. So you'll remember in the first video that there was a string for when you read. Yeah, you don't need to have one, but you can have one. But the most important one is you must have your text file variable, which we will be using my file in this example. Then let's get to the next few steps. Now, it's not a, a set uh, recipe that you must do all the time. It depends on what the question is. So I'll give you all the options available. And then in the example, we can see how we can use those options. So the, the next thing that we do is very similar to reading from a text file is we're going to assign our text file variable to the text file that we are going to be writing to. So it has two parameters, it has our text file variable, my file, and then in a, some sort of string format, the name of the text file that we are linking. Um, so there's going to be a link between our text file variable and this little text file that we are going to add to. Now, um, if you just use the name of the text file, like their name.txt, uh, that text file must be in the same folder as your, um, your, your Delphi files. So make sure that you've got your text file there, or well, that's where you'll find it. Yeah. So what do we do next? Well, we want to rewrite my file. Now, what does this procedure do? This procedure creates that text file. So if you had a text file called and we said we associated uh, data.txt, rewrite would then create a text file in the same folder as your Delphi files and call it data.txt. If there is already a text file called data.txt in the folder, um, rewrite will just remove whatever's in there and start again. It would be like scrapping whatever information's in there. So there might be an opportunity or time that you want to do that, where you don't care about what's currently in the text file and you want to put new stuff in its place. But sometimes you don't want to do that. Sometimes you want to take the text file that's there and you want to add onto it. If that is the case, then you won't use a rewrite. You would use an append. That's why I put it in a block there. So you would use either the rewrite or the append. What the append does is it only works if the file already exists. If you try to append a file and it doesn't exist, it's not there where you said it should be, it will crash. And what this does is it moves the pointer where it must add the file to the end of what's currently in that text file. And so whatever you add now to the text file will add at the end of the text file. So that would be that step. Then the actual things that we're going to be adding to the text file in the first video, you remember we had a read line. In this video, we've got a write line. And that will take in our text file variable. And then you can have the text that you want to add to that text file. Now, you can have multiple strings. that can have multiple parameters after the my file. You can have two or three strings. So you can have my file string one, comma string two, comma string three. You could have that. Um, but in this case, we're just going to use one uh, one uh, text file or one piece of string that we're going to add to our text file and what that will do is we'll add that whatever text you put there and then it will move the pointer to the next line and that's what write line does. There is also a write uh, procedure um, but the, what write does is it will just add that line and the pointer will remain at the end of that line but we're going to use write line mainly today but there is a write uh, procedure if you want to use that. And very importantly, especially when it comes to writing to, to, to a text file, whenever you are finished doing whatever you want to do to the text file, whether it's adding stuff or writing new stuff to the text file, you must at the end close your text file using the close file procedure. So those are the steps that you need to take in order to add stuff or to create a text file. So let's see a couple of examples now. So yeah, we have a little Delphi program. It's just got a button. We're going to do some very simple stuff to a text file. 
You, yeah, you can see the Delphi files. You'll notice there is no text file here. You notice there's nothing there. So take note of that because we're going to come back to that to see if our text file is created. So let's go. I'm going to write to a text file. I'm going to create my text file variable. So let's call it my file of type text file. You could technically say this is step one. Is creating our variables. So then next step. Step two, we need to assign our file, which in this case is going to be our my file variable, to the text file that we want to create. I'm going to create that one called data.txt. So that's the name of my text file. I almost put a dot there, not a comma. You can use strings to create your own text file name. Maybe you want the user to enter in the name and then you can construct the name, put a .txt there. That way it will create the text file name of whatever the user wants. You can do those options. So that is the assigned file. Then we are going to rewrite this file. As you can remember, there's no text file in that Delphi folder. The folder where all our Delphi files are, there's no text file there called data.txt, so we need to create it. So that's why we're going to rewrite it. And this will be step three. And then our step four, we are going to just add stuff to this text file. So I'm going to say right line to my file. What do we want to add? We want to add the word hello. And then I want to add another line and we want to add the word goodbye so we've added two lines to the text file you could add more you could have a loop that adds a whole bunch of numbers you can do all sorts of things so whatever you add to the text file you can keep adding under step four keep adding each line individually if you want and then when we are done and we are officially finished you remember this the fifth step important step to make sure that it works we're going to close the text file Okay, so it's as simple as that. Let's see what that does. Um, you'll remember, just there's no data.txt there. So let's go. We're going to run it. See if it works. We're going to write to the text file. Now, it's normally a good idea to have some sort of um, show message say, hey, the data was added, but we clicked on it. So let's close it and let's go have a look. Ah, what do you notice there? There's a data.txt. And in it is the word hello and the word goodbye, one after each other. How fancy is that? Now let's do this again, but I'm going to add another line. Um, or let's add this. Yeah, let's add a third line in the middle here. And I'm going to completely change the words. Uh, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way. So let's do that. So we've got three different lines that are going to add it. Now, because we are rewriting the text file, whatever is currently in there will be scrapped. It will recreate it from scratch and put in the new values. So let's just double check. You see, there's the hello and goodbye from our previous, um, the previous code that we had. So I'm going to close this so that we don't get to it. So then let's run it. Ah, oh, I forgot to put my show message in to say that we added it to the text file. I'm going to click on the button. I'll close and let's go look. Has our text file changed? Yes, it has. That's great. And now, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put in a show message here. As you say, that the data was added because it's good to give feedback. Data added. So that we know that it had added. So now let's change it up a bit. Let's say we're going to append the file. Which we know that the data.txt exists. That's great. So I'm just going to add um, one line. I'm not going to take. I'm just take one line and say. Um, I'm going to say, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. So in this example, we just add in one line, but because we are pending, it's going to take whatever's inside this, move the pointer to the end, and add. A line there so it's not going to remove what's currently there a pen is just going to add to our current text file so let's do it data was added so let's close it and now let's go to our text file so there it was from where we created it the first time and now this line just got added 
And if I clicked on it multiple times, then this line would be added multiple times. Okay. So, but what happens if we don't know if it's existed, if, if that file exists, if we don't want this to crash? Well, what I would do in this case is we can use a combination of the rewrite and the append. And I'll show you how I do that in my step three. I'm going to redo step three. I'm going to say, if the file exists, do you remember this from the first video? If the file exists now, with this, you remember you don't use the text file variable, you use the actual name of the text file in string format. If this exists, if the file exists, that equals to true. We know that the text file exists. That means it, it is there. We just want to add on to it. Then what do I want to do? Well, then I want to append, which means add on to that text file because it exists. But if it doesn't exist, else, if it does not exist, then you want to rewrite the text file. In other words, create it, and then we can add to it. Okay, so what happens in this case, we'll try both scenarios. So at the moment, if the file exists, add on to it. If it doesn't exist, create it, and then we're going to add to it. So I'm going to do a little text here. We're going to say, test in one, two, three. Okay, so we see. So what's going to happen now is we know that the data.txt exists. So because it exists, it's just going to add on testing123 onto data. Okay, so it's going to add it to the bottom there. We should see it there at the bottom. So let's run it and see what it does. Data was added. Let's close. Let's run. And now you can see testing123 was added to the data.txt because we said append because it exists. But now if I delete this text file, I'm going to delete this text file so that we don't have it anymore. So now it doesn't exist. So now it, because it doesn't exist, it will rewrite it. In other words, create it. So it should just have testing123 in it. So let's run it now and see what it does. So data was added. You'll notice our data.txt is back, and now it just has that one line. And so if I run it now, and I, I can just append, 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 it'll just add on to it. Add another line, add another line, add another line. So now we should see a whole bunch of testing one, two, threes in our text file variable. There we go. So whatever you want to add to the text file, you will do over here. And so it's up to you how you want to structure it and what information. If you want to add numbers, you would obviously convert them from integers to strings. Um, but yeah, so you can create a variable, a string variable like S line and construct each line individually and just add S line here. It is totally up to you. But those are your steps when or writing to a text file, when you are creating it or adding on to it. So remember, you assign the file, you check if it exists and then you append or rewrite. This will depend on your situation. Maybe you want to recreate it every single time. Maybe you know for a fact it exists and you just add it onto it. Obviously, then you would just use one or the other. And then you would add to the text file using write line. And then make sure you always forget, don't forget the last step. Close your text file. For the rest of the videos in this video series, go to our YouTube channel where you can see all the videos as well as others on all sorts of Delphi related material as well as some other computer interesting stuff. And remember, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter so you can see when we put up new videos. And remember, as we said in the text file, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.